My favorite DAS choke setups. You're gonna love these. If you guys love these videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Hey guys, Coach Tom here. I'm here today again with Reese, and we're having a look at DAS choke setups. I love the DAS choke. A lot of my students and competitors like a DAS choke. And I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite ways to set the choke up, because it's a very versatile choke. Number one is Reese is on his hands and knees, and I'm in a turtle type side back control position. So this is a really cool position from here, but especially as guys get uh, savvy, they begin to know where the threats are likely to come from. So they get to be aware of crucifixes, collar chokes, back takes, seat belts, even the truck attacks. So sometimes what I like to do is use the blind weapon to him. So all of my weapons can basically, from here, he could see or feel coming, but I like this one because it comes from a blind angle. So when I'm here on a guy, okay, this hand can't be seen as it comes through. This hand can be seen and felt. So, I mean, obviously from side back control guys, there's a bunch of things we can do, but it's good to have your knee in like this. I like to spread that out just a little bit here. And once I'm here, I'm gonna keep my weight on him and I'm going to swim my hand back as I put my ear onto his back. It's imperative when you do this setup that you keep all of your weight on your partner. Don't let your weight sink off. A good guy will blast right out. So I'm gonna keep my weight on as I circle my arm back and now I'm gonna push his head down as I bring my thumb onto the back of his neck. See how my thumb is resting on the back of his neck. Once I've done that position, I'm now gonna put my left thumb in between and I'm gonna grip. Okay, so I've got his head here and I've got my thumb here and I put my left thumb in between my right peace sign and grip. And now I simply pull his nose to my right knee and he falls and here we are. I run around to parallel, I stuff his head, I lock my arms and I can either sprawl my weight through or get to mount and squeeze and finish. I like both, I do prefer the mount. That's number one. Number two is he's just lying on his side. And the guy is trying to hip escape and he pushes me away. Anytime I see this, if I can get my weight on the back of an arm and put my right arm through, this guy's in big trouble. So he's here trying to push me away and I'm just going to grab his head and push my arm through. Again, I'm looking to put my thumb on the back of his neck and then I can lock my dust, run around to parallel, either push my weight through and squeeze to finish or get to mount and finish from here. I like both, again, the mount probably better, okay? So that's another one of my favorite ways to hit the darts. Another one that I really, really, really love is if he's on his back and you're hanging out in a side control position and you can't seem to get anything. But the only thing that you can get is under his elbow, okay? Which is a wonderful thing from side control. But you can't seem to get anything. The guy's cramped up, he's not letting you have anything. So I like to just grab his head here and now I turn and I run over his head until I get to this position. All of my weight is on his arm, so there's nothing he can do to prevent the dust. Again, from the other side this time, I'm here and I've got under his near elbow, okay, from a side control position. And I'm trying to get stuff, but I just can't get it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab him behind his neck and now I turn and I run my butt over him until I lock this dash choke position here, okay? I then get to a perpendicular position and pull my weight through or get to mount. Lucky last, guys. Mine of my favorites is he's passing my guard. I like to do this from butterfly and say you can jump on your knees, it's fine. So I like to do an arm drag this way and throw an uppercut, dash. Okay, so I'm here. I arm drag, and now I uppercut, and I almost throw a hook here. And then from here, I'll flip him over this way and try to get to mount for my finish. But if you've got a good squeeze, you don't need to flip him, just get him right there. Next one that I love, which is like a sister to this one, is if I'm playing this with a guy, and he actually passes. So sometimes he might be gripping my pants or something, and I go, and he's just gonna jump around my guard. And he jumps around, like this. And then you can catch this one here. So my left arm shot through, even though he's inside control. And now I can pull his head in 
and get him here and then I run my hips into him. Run, 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 run. There he goes down and from here, he's gonna get a big squeeze. Let's have a look at that one again. Because this one, you gotta have timing for. Because if you screw this one up, this guy's in your side control. So, he goes to pass my guard with a Toriander. See it like this. So if you jump back again, whichever way he passes to, that's your arm that feeds through. So he's here and he passes around. So my left arm goes through and up. I can then lock it off and run into him. And from here, I like to just often try to tangle a leg. So say if I just get one leg like this one or this one or both, it doesn't matter. But I just like to tangle something and then bridge in and squeeze and you have a very tight choke on your hands. There you go guys, the DAS choke. A very cool choke, a very versatile choke, and one that you can certainly use to uh, surprise your partners. Thanks for watching guys, I'm Coach Tom. I hope you enjoyed some of my favorite DAS setups. Take care. Thanks for watching the video guys, I hope you loved it. For more free videos, click here. And if you'd like to get our free Footlock Masterclass, please click here. And if you'd like to help support me so I can help bring you high level Jiu Jitsu for free every day, please click here. Thank you for watching guys, I'm Coach Tom. I'll see you next time.